Hello everyone, Pepper Hernandez from drpepperhernandez.com coming to you with information from the Cannabis Holistic Institute here in Northern California. This is another video on terpenes and today's terpene we're going to be talking about is linalool. Now, linalool is, is, is probably one of the more famous ones, I would think, because it is, comes from the lavender plant. So you can associate that with the beautiful purple lavender fields. If you've ever smelt um, a raw, like put, run your hands through lavender and smelt that or ran through the field, or even smelled a very organic food grade essential oil that was lavender, you kind of know the idea of the smell that we're kind of going after here. Now, it is probably one of arguably the most recognized terpenes in cannabis. Um, so it said, it has a spicy floral smell to it. Obviously it smells like lavender as we just discussed. Mint, now mint also, the smell of mint is also in another terpene, so it's not to get it um, confused with a different terpene that we'll be speaking on later coriander it kind of smells like coriander coriander if you haven't smelled that that is a an ayurvedic herb it is a very earthy grounding herb it smells so so good um and the taste is amazing too i love the taste of coriander cinnamon i'm sure you're familiar with or may you may not be familiar with cinnamon cinnamon's a little spicy a little heat a little hot but also very earthy so it's a combination of these now Linalool is a very strong sedative and relaxing terpene. So if you're finding that terpene in your cannabis strain, you're probably going to feel very, very comfortable, which means that that would be a great one for a topical or anyone who's having pains or needs to do um, deep relaxation, maybe even insomnia or sleep or um, rest. That could be a good one. Now, here are some strains that are pretty strong sounding. I don't know. I haven't tried them, so I can't tell you a personal, but the actual strain lavender, that's a beautiful strain. I have seen this one. OG shark. Definitely. Yes, that's, that's great. These are the two that I don't know much about and they're high in this particular terpene. Um, there are going to be even more coming out, you know, later after this video. And the, the reason being is because we're always trying to hybrid strains, genetically modify strains in order to get the particular terpene that we want, the cannabis fingerprint, um, which also means really working with getting the best genetics, which is coming out of Northern California right now, but the best genetics to really focus on um, which cannabinoid you want the most of, what strain terpene that you want the most of. I mean, there's some there's some people are doing amazing work here. It's really really incredible. Um, but the two that I'm not that familiar with, but sound interesting, are the amnesia haze. I mean, that just sounds like super deep relaxation. Um, probably a little too heavy for me because I bet this one has a high THC count, I would just imagine. And the LA Confidential, I haven't um, done any work on using that one at all on myself. But those are the strains that are high in those particular terpenes. I think another rule of thumb is um, anything that's kind of on the purple smell, you know, obviously it smells floral and stuff, but it also is kind of gives, has a purple kind of look to it, which I love perps like those they're just pretty and I like you know having those but I think that may also have a little bit to do just a little bit to do with this particular terpene okay we'll be back with another terpene really soon have a magical beautiful day again Pepper Hernandez from drpepperhernandez.com we'll be seeing you in just a moment